Welcome fellow folders to a new type of tutorial series. If you can't already tell, um, the title is all about divisions. Now, I've done a lot of model tutorials, so why not do division tutorials as well? Like how to divide into X amount of uh, parts. So the first one is going to be how to divide into thirds and it's one of the most common ones, uh, a lot of models use this and it's also a good um, idea to try and remember how to do these so you don't need to look up videos if you're out and about folding, uh, you can't access the video how to do it, it's good to have it in your memory. So the thirds should be straightforward and easy enough. So the first thing we are going to do is make a pinch mark at the very bottom middle. So just take this edge, fold it into this edge, which is basically in half. But we are only making um, a pinch at the very bottom. So right here, make a pinch mark right here. Now we are going to make a crease from the pinch mark we just made all the way up to the top left corner but we don't need the full crease but I'm going to make the full crease and then I want you to wait after I make it to see what to do next. So to make this crease as easy as possible I always start the crease from the middle and I'll show you why in one second because I then put my thumb over it to basically make it a pivot point. I then can adjust. So let's start, let's try from here. Put my finger here to hold it and then just press it. And then if it doesn't go all the way up to the corner, we need to readjust it. So I need to pull it back a little bit more. And then that's way too much more down, not enough, back up. So it's constantly readjusting to try and get that as perfect. So we'll go with this. And I'm just gonna make the full crease. Do not make the full crease, because we don't need it all. Like that. So that is the crease we just made. Now, if we turn it 45 degrees, we basically need to make the diagonal. And the same again, we don't need the full crease, but instead of making it, I'm just going to color it in because it'll be easier and quicker. I should have probably done that with the crease, the first crease, but it's good to show you how to actually make it. So once you have made the diagonal, where this intersection is, where these two creases meet, are one third. So third, third, third. So in three equal parts. And let me just use this orange pen. So basically, when you make uh, thirds, you want to make a crease or a gentle soft crease where I roughly color in. So from making these creases, you only want to make the crease from here. So when you first of all make this crease, what I do is again turn it and then I picture where the diagonal is coming down and then I'll gently crease here. And then I'll do the same with this one. If I've got this right at the right place, I'll fold it over and then I'll notice the crease coming up, so again I'll just gently crease. And then that will give me um, that intersection. So now we just need to make a horizontal crease and a vertical crease. So I'll flip it over just to make it easier to follow. So just fold up and where this intersection starts, 
just line up with the edge and crease. And then turn it around and then the same again. And you flip it over and if you are extremely accurate, which I am not, and you will have thirds. And then we are just going to take this edge, fold it to this crease. Unfold and then turn it around and the same again, this edge to this crease. And unfold and then I'll quickly follow these in just to show you that we have equal divisions. And it's important to not make those first two creases because we do not need those creases to begin with because box plating never uses a full diagonal and collapsing okay see your solution and there we go we have three equal parts and three equal parts so we have uh, the perfect third divisions and then of course you can half again and half for however much you want we have three here and then you have to get six and then 12 24 48 96 and so on if you wish to go um, larger so that is basically the first tutorial in the division series hopefully this will probably apply to a lot of beginners um, so hopefully you memorise how to do this, it's a really straightforward and pretty fun one to do. Anyway, that is it, thank you all for watching, I will see you in the next video, which will probably be more divisions, because I'm going to uh, fire through these, so there will be loads of them uploading, and yeah, that is it, thank you all for watching everyone.